Disabled people have played the Cinderella role for far too long. We have been marginalised and excluded from mainstream society. Despite the DDA and the Equality Act, really, what changed? The only cosmetics, access to building is often denied. Transport is still very difficult, and with privatisation and cutbacks, this is only getting worse. We are here to say to society. We're not putting up with it. Today we are here to demand that we go to the ball. So let us go on this journey. Let us tell our story. This city is full of shops and restaurants that are inaccessible, especially this area. Still we're denied access as disabled people, wheelchair users, people that actually can't get up steps. We've got a calling card because we're fed up of this. Recently refurbished, can't think of access for disabled people. Our rights are being diminished and access is getting less for disabled people under the Tory government. disabled ramp for the unit. It's just the people in this lobby here. You'd like to have a go? Any ramp? We seek the ramp here, we seek the ramp there, we seek the ramp there. Oh, let's do it in. Yeah, just go the right way, that might help. Go on, sir, in you go. Go on, sir, check it out. Actually, the disabled people don't go here because they don't know the ropes there. So how do you ask about the road like you go a megaphone? Right. Yes, Find your touch. Oh, oh. Whoa. 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 It's alright, I'm alright. Not me the glass. Right. It's too narrow. And to turn round, they had to move all the furniture out of the way so I could turn round to come back out. Because if it wasn't for the fact that I went in and went all the way around the restaurant and went to look at the disabled toilets, now the width that you've got to get a wheelchair down is like that, right? I can steer, but if you haven't got good coordination, you'd have no chance. You'd have no chance whatsoever. And the fella in there was saying, oh, we've done what we can, right? The fact is, if they really wanted to, they could apply to a grant, for a grant, from the council. But they haven't, because they haven't bothered to ask. Further down the road, there's a restaurant, and they buy provision. It's ramped. This is possible, but our rights are in finish. We're the last on the list. Nobody cares. Even when there's a refurb of shops or area, we're not considered. There's plans to take guards off trains. If that's to happen, then disabled people will 
chains as well be able to gain access to trains especially at unmanned stations we still have to book to be reassured assistance onto the trains 24 hours in advance Disabled people need to be able to travel spontaneously. We have lives, we might need to go somewhere. You know, somebody might phone us and want to meet family or friends or for work, but we can't do that and be reassured access onto the trains. I'm very interested to have been handed this leaflet today because I should have been meeting a disabled friend to go to a concert in the town hall. However, I got a message from him at the last minute to say that he couldn't get on the train at Litchfield because the lift was broken down. The lift was also broken down last Wednesday when he tried to return home from a concert in Birmingham. So he's missed today's concert. And it appears that since last Wednesday, the lift has not been mended at Litchfield Station. I had a situation where I actually returned from a break early and I went to the station 40 minutes before the train actually was due to, 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 take, to, to move off so that I could arrange my um, access and make be reassured that I could get onto the train and get off at my destination. What happened was I was put onto the train by train staff but when I got to my destination nobody was there to get me off. I was left on the train. When I, I made a complaint and they said it was because I hadn't booked access and assistance 24 hours in advance. So there's still massive, massive issues for disabled People that face it don't really consider if we are inconvenient. Well, I think it's about time we let people experience what we face on a daily basis. He suffered from type 1 diabetes. He got sanctioned for a month. He had no money, no food, no electricity. He died from um, basically insulin shock and starvation. And the government refuses to acknowledge it. Theresa May has said they're going to scrap the Human Rights Act, which will then cancel out the United Nations Charter on Rights of Persons with Disabilities. We're all going to get stuffed. Nobody's going to have any bloody rights in this country. to the Tory party conference here because the cuts the Tories are making are killing disabled people in their thousands and many in mental distress taking their own lives with the work capability assessment and cuts to services and you know going through PIP assessments and everything. Do you like a sticker to support disabled people? No, Stop killing no, them. No, no. Sticker? 
disabled people against the cuts. Who so doesn't support disabled people? Though? I do. I've got one myself. Have a stick of You've got a disabled person yourself? <laughs> Quite frankly, I think, you know, the government needs to look at why we're out here today and I'll tell you something now, the whole of the country needs to wake up and smell the coffee because the cuts are going to hit them too. This is about your NHS, this is about your welfare state, this is about your libraries, this is about your social services, this is about your schools, these are about your human rights. And this government don't give a damn about any of it. We have had six years of being targeted by this pernicious evil government and we want them out. So our message is, Tory scum out of Brum. We want the world to start waking up and seeing what's going on in the UK. But most importantly, we want the country to raise their voices in anger and add their voices to disabled people out here today who are being penalised horrifically by this government. We are under attack here. They're annihilating us. This is genocide on a mass scale. Cuts and killing is genocide and we want it to stop. Tory scum out of Brum. Tory scum out of Brum. Tory scum out of Brum.